so we're back in all bands with the kids <laughs> yeah with the kids this is gonna be fun isn't it and we're going to barbecue a fish up on the roof that's the drifters if you're not sure what it is I know my singing's not very good not Sophia first time ready on the podcast yeah. First time on the project. Ah. Oh. So to everybody that doesn't know, this is where we used to live. Come on, baby. Wait, wait. Jump. Ah. Come on, this way. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It's okay. Go on, yo. Oh, there's a party. Matthew, come on. Oi, come on. This way. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Look, look at all the doggies. So, this is where we used to live. And Mane, she's not very well. What's, what's wrong, Mane? Nosebleed? Nosebleed. Okay, okay. So, this is where we used to live, guys. And we moved out because this is not our house. This belongs to Mel's mum and dad. And the family were all sort of bunched up in the house we're in now. So they said, look, if you don't want to live here with us, then we can have the other house rent free. But the other house needed a lot of work. Yeah, but if, if you will, if you Right. Even it's, this one is nice, but, but I'm gonna choose the other one. Yeah, know? it is. I like being here, but basically it was because we're here on our own, we had our yeah. privacy. You cannot go out like what we always mm. do yeah. in that other house, right? To get into Centro from here is quite a long walk, yeah. isn't it? And. I don't know if you remember what I said on the other video as well, but on the other video I said to come between the times of November and April, but you can't predict the weather. November is raining here. And yeah, but one about coolness as well. It's not always raining, it's not every day, but to try and predict the weather here is impossible. For example, we chose to barbecue a fish today and it was lovely and sunny and hot yesterday and today it's been raining yeah. so we might get upstairs and it's going to be raining again we hope it's not but that's what we've come to do because Mel's going to show me how they barbecue a fish in the Philippines I know, I know how to cook fish yeah but I just put it in an oven babe so I like it up here because even when it's hot, it's pretty cool because there's always usually a nice breeze. Oh, that's nice. It's washing day. It's not wet, I thought it's wet. Cool. Oh, I forgot to get much. Well, the shops, aren't they? We'll be all right. So, I brought a San Miguel beer, just one. I'm treating myself and we've got some soda. It's energy drink. Energy drink. You shouldn't be drinking that babe. Puts a lot of weight on. Oop, this table's not very good. I'm gonna do it now before it's dark, huh? Yeah. So let's have a look round guys because the last time we come, the last two times we've come it was dark. And this is the surrounding. So like I always say, the chances are, if you're talking to a Filipina, she lives somewhere like this. See, there's one over there on the roof. 
on a phone. They love the phones here, by the way. They love the selfies. And um, you can see you're going over that way and over here it's all countryside. Coconut trees over there, look. You go that way and you're going into fields and all kinds of stuff. So it's not, Nagas not massive. Whichever road you go out of Naga, you're going through fields, coconut, bananas, everything. And of course, when we left, all this wasn't done. This has only been done since we left. And it's still work in progress. They are going to tidy all this, all this up eventually. But when Ma and Pa have parties, they normally have them up here. So, it's interesting as well. You know if you come over here, guys, you need to make, if you're that way inclined, you need to make it plain that you're not looking after the whole family. If it's something to do with the mother and father, you're going to have to help whether you want to or not, because it's no different to the West. You know, you only have one mum, you only have one dad, and it's even more so here in respect of the family is king and they love the mums and dads, and they're brought up to love the mums and dads and to look after them in old age. And in a lot of circumstances, that's why Filipinos uh, have big families because that's their retirement insurance because they know the kids will look after them whereas in the West we just get put in homes I mean if I went home now back to the UK and I got really ill and senile a little bit more than I am now <laughs> I'd be put straight in a home you know plus there's a a law passed a long time ago in the in the UK that if you have your own property and you get put in a home then the property has to be sold and the proceeds of the property have to pay for you being in that home now if you're from the UK you know how much a home costs per year and your property wouldn't go anywhere and your kids get nothing and I mean that really really annoys me I'm thinking of doing a video, sorry, we're thinking of doing a video on if you're a foreigner and you die in the Philippines, what happens next? I just want a few uh, comments on it and whether you think it's a good idea or, or what have you. If I get enough um, positive comments on it, we'll do it. If not, then we'll uh, knock that one on the head. But I think it's quite unique and it's something that a lot of people don't think of or don't want to think of whether they're in the, the Philippines or in the West or not. And it's something I've thought about when I've been driving about and I've seen funerals, I've been to funerals, I've been to these, you know, is it seven days, Mel? Yeah. Seven it days. It depends on the family. Right. It depends. But you're seven. Baby, there's clothes hanging and you're lighting a fire. Is that a good idea? Not just be... No, it's the smoke, babe. I'm on about the smoke's gonna sink into the clothes and they're gonna smell of... Right. nobody's seen. <laughs> oh, you're bad, you are. You're really bad. See, in the Philippines, they don't care. I get a lot of good, great comments that say, we love your channel because your, your footage is raw and we see it how it is. Yeah, it's real. And that's, that's how I wanna keep it, you know? I don't wanna set things up for video. I want you to see it how it is. Oh, you see this place over here, this tall building there that's not been finished. I asked her how much she wanted and she said six million. You can buy a one million. Well, I mean, what's that going to cost to finish it off? Another, another six million maybe? Because it's in the city, that's why. Well, yeah, but it's in the wrong place as well, isn't it? But if that has been built to you know to rent out rooms it's just in the wrong place it's too far away from the town center for a start oh yeah Manny's pregnant again <laughs> she's yeah she's got two two boys let me sit down yeah she wanted a girl do you think it was deliberate babe or what do you, do you think she deliberately got pregnant because no 
because they have no planning to get pregnant now. Like mm -hmm. around three, when in so three years old. Well, uh, yeah. Then all of a sudden she's got pregnant, and what what's his name? Insu. I call him pea soup. Enzo. Yeah, Enzo. I call him pea soup because it's easier to remember. <laughs> That's my little nickname for him, pea soup. Um, she's pretty upset because he's very naughty. He cries and cries and cries and cries. And the shop of Amar has been handed over to Mane now. Um, Ma just does the food, just does the cooking. And it's very hard for her to run the shop look after two kids and now she's got a third one on the way because her husband obviously works so that's going to be interesting if she gets another boy i think we're going to see a very upset she said, she said if if it's boy again no she don't want any more well she's going to have to be oh mind you who am i to say careful cause because our second one shouldn't have come every time i i i dress Sophia and then put a pony down <laughs> yeah <laughs> We're going to go to the boat, aren't we? So there'll be a video coming up of the boat. Yeah. Where, where's the place called again, Mel? It's uh, in Kamaligan. Kamaligan. Kamaligan, yeah. So Before we're, that, Anna, we will celebrate your birthday first, yeah? While at the boat? No. We will celebrate, I mean... We well, we're going to the boat before my birthday, aren't we? I don't know, no. next time na lang. Well, whatever the boss says, apparently we've got crossed uh, <laughs> threads here. <laughs> dear, oh dear. We can do it after your birthday. After the birthday? No. Right, no, so we're, we're thinking of videos to do, and that's a possible video, and you want to do it after the birthday. So what video do we do after this one? Exactly. It's just very difficult, so if you can think of anything, that's going to be pretty easy for us to do um, with having the kids I'm on about. Now don't forget I can't video inside of stores because they won't allow it. If the guard sees a camera come out they normally stop you. I'm not saying every store but the chances are it's like uh, what, what's that place called that we got our furniture from? That stopped me filming in the store. Bodega. Bodega. The, I, I went to get permission before I started filming and then when I went back with the camera, I'm filming in the store and he says, that I'm sorry sir, but the manager's changed his mind. He doesn't want you to film. So I couldn't film. If you know of any subjects you'd like to hear about, please, if I've covered it already, I don't particularly want to cover it again because this is what I'm saying, I've, I think we've covered most subjects in all our videos at some point. But that's it guys, until we can get a fish on this grill, which seems it might be a, a long time coming, because Hiawatha here can't get the fire going. Just wait Mr. Ren, okay? Yeah. I can manage. You, you know we're going to get comments saying, well, why don't you help her then? Why don't you do it? And that's what I'm going to do, because I'm going to switch the camera off now. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy 